So question of the day is whether or not Resorts World is faking reviews, and they might be. And if that is happening, then that's a bad thing, right? We don't want fake reviews. In, in researching a video today that I was doing about the five ways that Resorts World is going to change Las Vegas forever in a positive way, I, I found that the property already has 4.6 out of 5 stars on Google. And so I started reading through the reviews and I thought, wait, I'm going to share this with the channel because they need to know about this kind of stuff. So today we're going to go through some of the reviews that have already been posted. Some of the reviews that have been posted are obvious lies. And I don't know if Resorts World is doing this on their own on purpose or if they just have a bunch of people that are doing it. It's easy to fake reviews. But let's get to the video in short order. My name is Steven, by the way, and I am not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas local. I'm a Vegas blogger. And I post videos all the time on the city. We analyze the news. We do it a little bit different than a lot of channels. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, I'd love to be able to basically go around every day and then review all the buffets in town, but I'm a picky eater. So this is where we go with my channel. We do live streams as well, short films on the city, and we talk about the news and, and current events. If you guys like this channel, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for future notifications. The question of the day for you is, do you like trust online reviews. You know, if you go to Amazon and you see a product that has 5,000 five-star reviews, it's probably fake reviews, unless the product is an Apple product or a Samsung product from a major multi-giant billion trillion dollar company. So you can't trust online reviews. We're gonna show you why right now. So leave us that comment below. Do you trust those online reviews? Also, if you guys wanna support the channel, we have Patreon and channel memberships. Those are always good ways to do that. You get extra content with Patreon. You get channel memberships, get you chat icons, different stuff. We also have VegasFaceMask.com. You know, the wife is still making these. We sent out a bunch this week. We got a bunch of orders. People who are not vaccinated or you need to travel to Las Vegas or anywhere else on an airplane, you got to wear these on the plane, not the train and the train, but not the automobile that you're driving in. <laughs> Planes, trains, and automobiles. You see what I did there? Two for 25 uh, shipped out to you directly. Free shipping anywhere in the United States. The only two that you'll ever need. All made 100% by hand by my wife, sweet Caroline. And watch this cool Sony ZV-1 camera. It's so good at focus. Watch. We we have them also in solid colors. Zip, zip, like I'm a fashion YouTuber. Okay, guys, beauty YouTubers, you know, look at this lipstick. This mascara case is beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Ooh, camera. Ooh. Oh, man, why can't my Panasonic do that? Son of a gun. All right, so yeah, um, that's a way to support the channel. So let's take a look at the fake reviews. Uh, <laughs> I said fake reviews. Now, look. I am not trying to get myself kicked out of Resorts World before it even opens. I'll be there at the grand opening like every other blogger on the planet Earth, and uh, I'll show you guys what's going on. But without further ado, how'd you do? 4.6 out of 5 stars. What in the sweet merciful is going on now? We're going to get to why I think these are fake, because check this out, ladies and germs, boys and girls. Look at all these reviews with absolutely no kind of like rate like there's no explanation they just exist and i suspect that this will get a lot more intensive as we go but some of them have comments let's read some comments you know this is resorts world las vegas this ain't resorts world manila this ain't resorts world new york this is not resorts world london because at the top it says hotels nevada clark county winchester las vegas strip resorts world Okay, Daisy Way, she's got a little star next to her name, which on Google means that she does a lot of reviews, so she's pretty, like, legit. She's too legit to quit. Hey, hey. All right, world-class Forbes five-star rated resort. For the record, I looked this up. No, Forbes has not rated this resort. <laughs> so it's not a Forbes five-star resort. We're going to presuppose, I guess, that it will be. Everything is technologically advanced. That was what I was going to make my video about originally, is all the technology in the resorts world. Now, I'll have that video for you tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe to the channel today. Uh, gladly, uh, let's uh, pay you on Thursday for a hamburger today, as a Wimpy once said. But Hilton, Conrad's, Crockford's all combined to have a beautiful, luxurious appeal. Can't wait till it's opened. Well, at least she admitted that. Got, got to check it out when it opens up June 24th. This sounds like an ad, though. I got to be honest. But, I mean, it could just be a person who's super stoked and maybe they got a preview inside. I didn't get a preview inside. I'm just a dude with a camera. Hey, Resorts World, Stephen J at notleavinglasvegas.com. Although after this, you're never going to invite me in. Carl Fuller says, amazing pool area and top casino area. Loved working on the project for all to enjoy two months ago. The pool is not open two months ago, Carl. You, you worked on the pool, buddy, but you saw the renders in your head and you painted a cacophony of beauty with what you thought it was going to be like. But yeah, it's from two months ago. The pool, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Rosa Martinez says it's a nice place. <laughs> Blobin, Blobin 1021 says, listen to this. 
The room was clean, and we had a great view of the strip. Great staff and delicious food. We would, oh my god, my dings. We would highly recommend staying at Resorts World 100%. What? You stayed at Resorts World? Two weeks ago? I mean, we were there just last weekend, and there's chain link fence up everywhere, and guys that are uh, sitting there with grinding and, and, and uh, grinders and iron uh, and uh, bull torches, uh, fixing up the fences in front. But Blobin, 1021, he's a VIP, comes from Blobinville, Indiana. Uh, it's very nice people there, by the way. Uh, maybe he stayed there. Who knows? Maybe. But I don't think all the rooms are going to be ready to open. I have a sinking suspicion that the property is doing a soft opening uh, because they want to get into it right before the 4th of July. Yvonne says it has been a lot of fun part of building part building parts being part of building various parts of the property. I'm excited to see tour it on grand opening on June 24th. The entire property will not, however, be completed. Oh, look at that. I just said that. For at least six to eight more months. Yvonne. Mm, shh, don't don't say that, Yvonne. We don't want the stock value to go down. Okay, well, heaven forbid a, a billion dollar company lose some value. Did you guys see that soccer player, Ronaldo? Ro I can't remember his name. He pushed away a Coca Cola bottle yesterday. Coca Cola's stock price fell $4 billion in a single, like, New York minute. Ridiculous, right? Um, Jasmine Johnson says there are so many beautiful things to see at the resort, a variety of places to eat and be entertained. How do you know this a month ago? Did you, maybe you got a sneak peek. Maybe you are the one. You are Neo in this story. Mercedes Hart says, super awesome opening day is arriving. Okay, so these are obviously people that are admitting it's not opening yet. Uh, Casino is going to be amazing. Pro property layout, very beautiful, nice and polite people. Tadisi, how do you know? Because the property's not open. And I mean, I'm sure the people there are polite that they have hired, but they're not working the property yet. And that's another thing too. When you look at these reviews, you got to look at the names of the people on reviews. And before you guys pull out your social justice card and you wave it in my face and give me a timeout, I don't care. My wife's from the Philippines. I love the country. I love the people. I go there at least once a year when it's not COVID, you know, BS everywhere. But they will hire people from third world countries because they'll work for literally 50 cents a post to do these kinds of reviews. And um, they make them, you know, so if you're going to do this, don't do this. Don't, don't buy fake reviews, please. But if you do buy fake for fake reviews, make sure they come from Mercedes Hart and Jasmine Johnson, not from Ta from Tadisi um, Ashitu, because then it looks a little sketch. Uh, especially when international travel is not even allowed into the United States largely right now. Ron Barak, Ron Barak says, you guys are genius for bringing techno parties. Techno parties. <laughs> but techno, are you, you mean EDM? Because those have existed. Uh, we have, you know, Hakkasan and they have the win and, you know, Dead Mouse or Dead Mouse 5 and uh, Calvin Harris. These guys have been around forever. But hey, look, maybe they're doing something different. Tell me in the comments below. A beautiful and amazing new place, Larry says. I'm so excited to work there. M. Romagloni says, okay, now here's some controversy. Here's your one star review. Echo Cree says, What kind of multi billion dollar project touts that it is supporting local artists by having them do murals, then proceeds to add the murals and won't be seen by the general public, and the artists won't be compensated for their work? Obviously, the corporate don't lift a finger if officers made this publicity stunt and have no idea how much hard work and time it takes to be an artist. Do better capitalism. The owner, man, you got Mr. Mr. Resorts World himself to respond to you. He says, our local community is important to us and we value your opinion. We understand that these are incredibly difficult economic times. <laughs> yeah, you do understand. And it was never out of an, uh, our intention to commercialize this project or solicit free work. He must be talking about this project right here. This project. Resorts World announces it will now pay local artists free murals. There you go. Resorts World to feature local artists. There you go. Artists want it, so they are doing some work. We're committed to supporting local community and re-evaluating re the program along with compensating selected artists appropriately to ensure it'll better align with the full spirit that is originally intended. We'll also continue to engage with local arts community for commission works to be featured throughout guest-facing areas of the resort. Excellent. Now, this is something that Circa did. Circa had some uh, local art pieces in the property. I'm glad that Resorts World is doing it. Looks like we got some sour grapes. Guys, here's the deal about one-star reviews online. You can always find a one-star review. You'll find them for the Wynn, the Encore, the Bellagio, the Venetian, the Palazzo, for everywhere. John Hamilton says it's the new jewel on the strip. Cesar, Cesar Bello says, amazing and beautiful place. It'll be awesome when it's done. So, there, you know, that's the thing, right? So, look, we got some more one stars. What was a one star? 
Tony Davila says, not only is the name of the top of the hotel unreadable, but it's so small compared to the scale of the hotel. Whoever approved that selection of signage has no business in the design world. Every surrounding hotel has clear large scale fonts. What a major misstep and does nothing so whatsoever to invite me into this place. I'm going to tell you what he's talking about. If we type in Resorts World Las Vegas, Resorts World Las Vegas, I'm going to type the word Conrad. And I was having a discussion with the wife about this too. And I said, why did they do what they did on the top of the property? Let's see if I can find a picture of it. Here it is. And um, okay, so you can see in this picture right here, Resorts World, weird font. Well, it's their, it's, that's their branding. Hilton, Crockford's, Conrad, three, four different fonts. It is a bad graphical design decision, but I don't know if I'd give the entire property a one out of five star. Tommy Vegas, though, says this is not a five star hotel because they have horrible management. Ooh, sounds like somebody worked there. Tommy Vegas, if you see this, buddy, why don't you drop me a line? I would like to hear your story. Maybe we can tell your tale. And then we have another some more one stars. This place is still under construction, but it's a beehive of activity. A lot of people working and hard and making money. Why does that make it a one star? But then we have all of these kind of like, kind of these like still building it looks beautiful. But look at the bottom. This is what concerns me the most. All of these blind five out of five stars. You can have some three out of five stars, but there's no reason for that. Blank, no reviews, no comments, all within the last six, seven months. Now, if I were going to be gaming the system, I might even tell people to leave a couple of one or three star reviews so my reviews look balanced. That's how this stuff works. Now, I'm not saying that Resorts World is doing this, but it's awfully suspect. And I know it's going to be a great property and we're going to be making some more videos on this. But it just seems like it's too weird that all of a sudden everything is 100% great and just happy, happy. And so that's the Google reviews that we have for a property that's not even open yet. 4.6 out of 5 stars. Excellent rating on a property that nobody's technically been inside except for the construction workers. We got to wait to see. You got to put your money where your mouth is. You got to actually experience the property yourself. I hope you guys would subscribe to the channel. We're going to be talking about Resorts World more this week. And once again, that's my video and I'm sticking to it. What do you guys think? Do you trust online reviews? Tell me in the comments below. My name is Steven and I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. If you guys want to support the channel, channel memberships, Patreon, VegasFaceMask.com. Links in the description of this video. Also in the first pinned comment. Now's the time of the video where we say three, two, one, click. Are you ready? We're going to get close to the camera as we can because we got a microphone in our way. I'm going to say three, two, one, and click. Mm -hmm.